French engine manufacturer Safran and India's gas turbine research establishment are giving final touches to the ongoing negotiation for the joint development of a 110 kN engine to power the AMCA fighter jet. India will be investing 1 billion euros into the program, but will still have to share joint intellectual property rights with France for the engine. India will get the technology for the core engine that includes the right to carry out improvements and upgradation of the critical components throughout engine service life in production, while Safran will continue to hold joint intellectual property rights on most of the transfer of technology on the core engine. India will have full control over export rights, and no permission is required if engines are exported as part of AMCA export deal to any prospective clients, but if the engine is required to be equipped on any other aircraft, then it will require the permission of Safran. Safran and DRDO will develop the engine, and Safran will initially manufacture four prototype engines at its facility in France, and a Dassault Ondrafil fighter jet will be used as a flying test bed when a pre-production engine variant is ready within seven years of signing the contract. To make the joint venture profitable and recover its investment, India will use the 110 kN engine for the AMCA Tejas Mark II and TED BF program, which could see the manufacturing of over 1,000 engines in the next 30 years, and more engine variants for other programs. Safran has been ensured that it will be the default consultant for all future variants of the engine, that includes an upscale 130 kN engine, or for the dry engine program for unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The Ministry of Defence has issued a request for information for procuring 24 Enhanced Capability Global Navigation Satellite System Jammer and Associated Equipment, that is intended to protect Indian military assets from satellite navigation system receiver-based guided weapons and drone attacks, by jamming and spoofing in space, thereby degrading their navigation accuracy. The entire system should be vehicle-mounted mobile and transportable by road and air. The system design should include modularity for quick deployment and the induction. Tato Advanced Systems Limited and Larsen and Tubro have jointly delivered the 100th Akash Air Force launcher to the Indian Air Force. The Akash Air Force launcher is a multi-technology weapon launch platform for air defense missiles, jointly developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program of the DRDO by Tato Advanced Systems Limited and LNT, and produced collaboratively. It comprises a self-powered and fully automated electromechanical launching system mounted on a trailer, and towed by a prime mover. It is an all-weather day and night system capable of operating in harsh environmental and terrain conditions. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has already supplied 49 Akash launchers to the Indian Army. Private sector firm Tunbo Imaging has briefed the Indian Army Chief on the Spartan multi-purpose thermal site. The Spartan is the next-generation tactical thermal imaging site powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon, and is truly connected site for combined communications. It features extremely sharp 12 micrometers sensor technology, Android operating system, internal video recording, as well as clip-in compatibility for up to 30x scopes. It can be used as a handheld scope, helmet-mounted monocular, long-range weapon site, and clip-in weapon site for small arms and snipers. The Deputy Prime Minister of Australia Richard Marles visited Goa Shipyard Limited along with a high-level Australian delegation, for demonstration on the autonomous fast interceptor boat and other projects undertaken by the shipyard. The Australian delegation then visited IDEX Expo at INS Hansa, where they interacted with industry specialists in drone technology. A number of drones developed by Saga Defence Engineering was also displayed. Oh, Mark, drop it.